Jeff Younger is a business owner in Texas and now a candidate running for the Texas House of Representatives. You may recognize his name if you follow a select few conservative media outlets anyway, because he's been uh, locked in a years-long custody battle with his wife, Ann Georgilis. Now, at the center of this dispute is their now nine-year-old son, James. Ann says that James is really a girl and, uh, and she wants to transition him. You know, she found out that James really has a girl magically trapped inside him, and so she wants to uh, do the transition. In fact, she has long since begun the so-called social transition, dressing him in girls' clothes, giving him a girl's name, Luna. Now, Jeff fiercely opposes this plan, as any sane and loving parent would, and has been fighting for custody so that he can prevent the further psychological and physical abuse of his boy. Ultimately, Jeff lost the fight tragically. And the courts handed custody over to Mommy Munchausen. So Jeff is now running for office because he realizes that the only way to save his son now is to see to it that childhood gender transitions are legally outlawed completely. Now, to that end, as we talked about last week, Texas has gone part of the way. Um, The governor recently declared that the medical transition of minors is child abuse under state law, under already existing state law. And any adult participating in or facilitating the practice should be arrested and charged. Now, that's a, that's a good step and it's an important step. But as long as this barbarity is not officially and specifically outlawed, it will still happen. The governor can only do so much on his own. The ACLU is sued to block Abbott's directive from going into effect because, of course, the ACLU cares deeply about protecting the right of adults to butcher, drug, and castrate children. What this means most likely is that the whole matter will be tied up in the courts for the foreseeable future. Um, the Texas legislature has to act, and that's what Jeff Younger is calling for, and that's why he, he uh, is running for office. And it's also why he held an event at the University of North Texas last night to discuss this issue and explain why, in his view, child transitions should be criminalized. Now, the event drew controversy from the moment it was announced, and uh, when flyers started going up around the campus last week, uh, last week, the president of the university, Neil Smatresk, responded to complaints over the flyers by condemning them, the flyers, not the complaints, as intolerant. In a campus-wide email, he said, quote, I know the last several days may have felt particularly difficult for the transgender members of our community due to the intolerant views of a handful of campus members. We have a variety of resources through our Division of Inclusion, Diversity, Equity, and Access to support you during your time at UNT, and we hope to offer you a safe place to heal and grow your support system. So, The president of the university, after scooping the LGBT complainers up in his arms, patting them on the back, swaddling them, assuring them that everything will be okay, the poor babies, he did finally affirm, though, the right of Jeff Younger to come and say his piece. But he also accused Younger of, quote, challenging the very existence of trans people. So the stage was set. The irrational beliefs and attitudes of the radical LGBT leftists, leftists had been affirmed and legitimized. And that led directly to what happened last night. Younger came to give his talk, as scheduled, and all hell broke loose, in quite a literal sense, in fact. As many of the protesters appeared to be demonically possessed, outside of the event, um, an enormous pitchfork mob assembled, demanding that that the event be shut down. We have some of that footage. Let's watch that. Officer, I understand that there is the free speech portion of it, so yeah. You guys are all losers! Get on the Okay, so you see a pretty good crowd there. But they didn't settle for remaining outside. If they had just done that, then you know, whatever. But they flooded into the room and shut the event down themselves inside, preventing Younger from presenting his case. And they did that by chanting and screaming at him the entire time. Listen to this. You can practically smell that room from here. Truly a collection of the greasiest and foulest, ugliest humans you're likely to ever come across. And they weren't satisfied to keep their tantrum purely verbal. Uh, At one point, in response to younger misgendering someone in the audience, i.e. gendering them accurately, somebody stood up on the desk and spat on him. 
Watch. She I just hope Jeff got his rabies shot. That's all I can say. Now, when I watch all this unfold, a few things come immediately to mind. First of all, um, modern college leftists are apparently going to barbers who use weed whackers and chainsaws. They go to like the landscaper to get their hair cut. The, the worst haircuts I've ever seen, all in one room. More importantly, um, I may have to pay a visit to this school. You know, bullies like this should not get what they want. What they want is to make sure that nobody who opposes them ever shows up on their campus again. They're trying to send a message. What they ought to get instead then is, you know, me. If you're affiliated with the conservative group on campus there, please reach out to me. Maybe we can set something up. Most importantly of all, though, I think are, are three points. Now, first of all, to echo something that our very own God King Jeremy Boring posted this morning in response to this, you are a fool if you pay to send your kids to college. You are paying, paying exorbitant, back-breaking sums to have your children turned into that. You're paying to have them brainwashed. You are sending them into the most expensive cult commune in history where their mind and soul will be eaten and inside the shell that was once your child will be placed a blue-haired lunatic beholden to a worldview so irrational and fragile that he'll melt into a puddle if somebody even so much as mentions in his presence that men have penises and women have vaginas. You are paying for that. You are asking for that to happen. You are going into debt to make that happen to your kid. Now, sure, there are some exceptions. There are a few good schools left in, a, in the country, a few. And there are plenty of kids who go into these environments and they come out with their minds and souls somehow still intact. I meet students like that all the time at my events. But the odds are stacked against them. And most are destroyed by the experience. It's just not worth the risk. It's not close to worth it. It's definitely not worth paying $100,000 for. Two, notice that when I outline the horrors of the modern university system, I do not say that the kids who graduate from these institutions can't get jobs. That's not one of the things that I list. Now, it's true that a lot of them indeed cannot get jobs, but we make a mistake when we point to all the tantruming, tantruming uh, gender studies majors in that room and scoff and just assure ourselves that, well, the, the real world will catch up with them. They're going to be unemployed, living in their mom's basements, rejected by society. Certainly, that will be the case for some of them. Certainly, it should be the case for all of them. But it's not the case for all of them, not even most of them. The scary thing is that, in fact, they do get jobs. The real world will not catch up with them. I hate to say it. Because they are going out and redefining the real world. We are living in a culture and a country increasingly shaped by people like that. Those kids in that room, that's your next generation of teachers. Those are university professors. Those are human resource managers at Fortune 500 companies. Those are diversity consultants. They'll take their blue hair over to a, a nearby middle school and help to keep this self-perpetuating cycle of crazy going. Hey, listen, hit the subscribe button. Do it right now. I demand it. And I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.